You are emitting light right now. Not metaphorically, literally. It's called Ultra Weak Photon Emission, UPE. Tiny biological light emissions, like whispers of light coming from every cell in your body. Weird, right? But this isn't just a biological party trick. It might be a secret cellular light communication network, a hidden language dictating health, disease, and maybe even consciousness. Today, we're decoding this cellular Morse code. Get ready, because life is about to get a whole lot stranger and brighter. Flashback. A century ago, scientist Alexander Gurwich saw onion roots seemingly chatting with light, triggering growth, mitogenesis from afar. He called it mitogenetic radiation, or Gurwich radiation, because the guy didn't have a big ego. Everyone else pretty much called it madness. Light from onions? Come on. His ideas flickered on the edge of science, too faint to be taken seriously, until technology built a phantom magnifying glass. Decades later, physicist Fritz Albert Pop became a light hunter. His mission? Catch cells red-handed armed with ultra-sensitive photomultiplier tube detection. He finally proved Gerwich wasn't seeing things. Life glows. Pop's crucial discovery, built upon researches like Roland Van Wijek and extensive quickened biophoton studies. This UPE wasn't just random sparks. It was often coherent. Think of it like this. Random flickers are noise, but coherent light is like a laser, capable of carrying complex information. It's the difference between a shouting crowd and a synchronized choir. Life wasn't just glowing, it was potentially broadcasting. This launched the field of biophotonics, and the big question became, what are our cells trying to tell us? Where's the broadcast station? Mostly, your mitochondria. Those tiny power plants in your cells. As they burn fuel, they leak light. Mitochondrial biophotons. So, forget 5G worries. Your mitochondria have been broadcasting since day one. Crucially, this glow isn't constant. Studies investigating biophotons in cell stress showed the light signature changes dramatically. Illness, stress, inflammation, they alter the intensity and pattern. Your body can emit over 100 photons per second per square centimeter. You're literally a human firefly. The immediate payoff for you? This could be the ultimate non-invasive health check. Imagine scanning your biophoton aura to catch problems early, reading your body's own light signature. That's the promise of biophotons in medicine. Okay, so cells glow and their glow changes. But are other cells watching? The evidence points to yes. This is active biophoton signaling. As explored in Trojan cell communication research, your cells might be using light for rapid information transfer, coordinating complex tasks across tissues. This cellular light communication could operate alongside or even faster than our known chemical signals. And here's where it gets really wild. Could non-local communication in cells be happening? Could quantum biology allow for entangled photons to communicate instantly across your body, defying distance? Science isn't sure, but nature loves shortcuts. So, if light is this fundamental, could it be linked 
to the master code itself, DNA? Now we're venturing to the edge, where ideas spark both fascination and fierce debate. What if, as researchers like Peter Gariev radically proposed with his wave genetics theory, DNA isn't just a static blueprint? What if it's also a kind of antenna, interacting with the body's subtle energy fields, engaging in active biophoton DNA communication? This is where Russian wave genetics explores territory like the DNA phantom effect suggesting DNA leaves an energetic trace, and linguistic wave genetics, which talks about a wave-based DNA language. Could DNA be a holographic genome, storing information in ways we don't understand? Could it function as a DNA wave biocomputer, processing non-local genetic information? Look. This is controversial stuff, far from proven. Garyev DNA experiments face heavy skepticism. But even if these specific theories are wrong, they force a critical question. If life uses light for basic communication, how far could that principle truly extend? Exploring these limits, even the controversial ones, is part of understanding the full picture of quantum genetics potential. Okay, let's bring it back from the far frontiers. Even if the validated biophoton science is revolutionary for biophotons and medicine, that unique light signature your healthy cells emit is a potential biomarker. Biophotonics Imaging aims to read it. Imagine a future where your doctor, or even your phone, scans your biological light emissions to catch disease incredibly early. Cancer cells have a unique light fingerprint, and science is learning to read it. Reliable UV biophoton detection, though challenging, could unlock even more secrets. This isn't just sci-fi anymore, it's the direction Precision Health is heading. And therapy? If stress cells emit chaotic light, could we use carefully tuned light to guide them back to health? Biophoton therapy investigates exactly this. Could we use external light to stimulate biophoton cellular healing? Essentially, speaking the body's own language of light to restore balance, it's a shift towards informational, resonant healing, working with the body's subtle energy systems. So, you glow. It's not magic, it's biology. But it feels magical. From Alexander Gurwich's first vision of mitogenetic radiation, to Fritz Albert Pop's proof of coherent ultra-weak photon emission, we've uncovered the hidden layer of life. This luminous reality connects mitochondrial biophotons, cell-to-cell -cell communication, stress responses, healing, and even pushes the boundaries with ideas like quantum genetics. These biological light emissions form a constant, subtle broadcast, a biophoton signaling network vital to your existence. Understanding this luminous language isn't just about future medicine. It's about recognizing ourselves as being woven from light and information, constantly interacting with the energetic symphony of the universe, emitting a field of biophotonic information around our physical body. The ultimate reward isn't just knowing we glow. It's starting to grasp the profound, intricate conversation our inner light is having every single moment. If your cells are chatting in light, what secrets are they keeping from you? Has this sparked something in you? Next time you sit quietly in the dark, remember, 
you're never truly alone. Yourselves are lighting the way. <laughs>